today's video I'm going to show you how to film your YouTube videos. I'm going to cover everything from what equipment you should use to where you should film and everything on lighting and how to make your videos look so much better. Be sure to stick around to the end of the video so you don't miss any of my tips and tricks. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more YouTube tips and all sorts of lifestyle content. Alright, let's get into the video. First off, we're going to discuss equipment. So something I see a lot of people asking, and I know I had questions about when I started my YouTube journey, was if you actually needed an expensive camera. And the answer is in short, no, you do not. If you're just starting out, your phone will do just fine. I film on a Canon G7X Mark I, which I bought used together with a bunch of accessories for like $200, give or take some because of conversion rates, and actually for the longest time I filmed on this, which is an iPhone SE the old edition. And let me tell you, this does not have a great camera quality, but it definitely had enough for me to start out. This phone is like four years old or something, and most people have newer phones, like even the iPhone 8 has better quality than this one. Another problem I had when filming on this was that I ran out of storage all the time. Now this is 32 gigabytes, so if you have a phone with more storage, you might be fine with that. And since I like to film with the back camera instead of the front camera, because of the quality of the video I could not see when it stopped filming which was super annoying so when I felt that I was serious about YouTube and I really wanted this camera both for YouTube and for photography in general and I had the money so for me it was really worth it to buy the camera but as I said it's definitely not a necessity it wasn't even a necessity for me it was just something I wanted and then as for other equipment I use a tripod to film and that can actually help a lot it's way more versatile than just propping my camera up on something but again it's not a necessity and then of course for my camera I use an SD card I really like the size 64 gigabytes I rarely run out of storage it's just the perfect amount because more storage is not necessary for me that's for everyone to decide how much footage they want to have on the camera at once as for ring lights and soft boxes and stuff like that sometimes i do use a ring light i'm actually using one right now but i'm going to talk about that a bit more later in this video when i talk about lighting i think the last equipment to cover as for filming is microphones and no i don't use a microphone i use the built-in microphone of my camera and the reason i don't have a microphone is that I really don't feel the need for one right now. It would just be a lot more steps because I can't connect a microphone to my camera and then of course it would be expensive and more steps when editing and stuff like that so for me it's not worth it right now. I'm happy with the sound I get from my camera but again if you're not happy with the sound on your camera and you really want a microphone and you have the money then of course go for it. Next thing we're going to cover is background. You should totally think about your background because it's quite important and it can impact the feel of your video quite a bit. I like to have a white and kind of clear background, kind of like this one, but of course that's different for everybody, what they have access to and what they like and what works for their channel. But here's some things you should think about regarding your background. First of all, mess. You do not want your background to be messy. Even if you have a bunch of clothes laying around, put them away, put them out of the frame. It draws your viewers' eyes off you and towards the mess. Think of it this way, if you had guests over, would you clean that mess up? Yeah, you probably would, because messes impact our minds negatively. So put that out of the frame and clean it up for your YouTube as well. Let's take an example. Would you rather watch a video that looks like this or like this? Now, you were probably looking more at the mess I had on my bed instead of my face and focusing on what I'm saying. The next thing is movement. You do not want a lot of movement in the background. It's difficult to share and give you an example right now because I'm home alone except for my dog and she doesn't like to listen to me. But you can imagine for yourself, if my boyfriend or anyone else was moving around, walking back and forth in my video, that would be really distracting. And again, it draws the viewer's attention off you and what you're saying and to the distraction, which you don't want. Last thing about backgrounds is that you need to think what is in the background. Just make sure that you don't have anything in frame that you don't want the internet to see. And that's different for everyone, but 
just give it a thought and look at your background and see if there's something there that you don't want others to see. And as I said, of course, background is different for every person. But just make sure that you like it and it works for you and your channel. And of course, if you're doing a vlog or something where you're in public or around other people, there's going to be movement and you're not going to have the same background at all times. So take all this with a grain of salt and see if it makes sense for the video you are filming. The next thing we're covering is lighting. Lighting is everything. Okay, that's maybe a bit too dramatic, but still. Lighting plays such a huge role in your video and whether or not it looks nice. Like, compare this to this. Which one would you rather watch an entire video with? Probably this lighting. Whatever kind of lighting you choose to use for your video, it needs to be in front of you. For example, I use natural lighting most of the time. So with that in mind, I sit and face the window. That way, the brightest thing in the frame is most likely going to be my face and it's my face that is highlighted. And that is important because it's my face you want to see. I'm the one doing the video. If you compare to this, my face is not the brightest thing in the video. Instead, the window is the brightest thing in the video which draws more attention to the window. This is one reason why it can be so helpful to use a tripod. I wouldn't really be able to prop up my camera in the window while not covering the actual light. So I can film in this spot with this lighting because of my tripod. As I mentioned before, I do have a ring light. But to be honest, I barely use it. Now I happen to be using it right now, but that is because it's getting a bit dark right now and I need some extra light. I would always, always recommend natural lighting for someone starting out. Or honestly, most people in general. It is by far the cheapest alternative and to even come close to that light quality that natural light brings you, you're going to have to spend a lot of money. But as I said, I like to use my ring light sometimes to add a bit of light. And also, just to clarify, I live in Sweden and that is very far up north. So for example, in the winters, the sun sets at like 3 p.m. So then it can be necessary to use artificial lighting because there's no natural lighting left. And if you really have trouble getting good lighting, I do suggest buying a light of some sort. That is, if you have the money and you have the space. And then there's a lot of people who use ring lights even when they have good lighting. For example, I know that a lot of beauty YouTubers use ring lights to get better lighting around the face and to actually really highlight their face. For example, when they're doing makeup. This is honestly a bit like a camera situation. If you really want to light you think that it will make your video quality better and you can afford it then of course go for it if you really want it i am not one to hold you back if you really want that light go get that light all i'm saying that it's not always necessary to have a light if you have access to natural lighting all right so to recap no you do not need a bunch of equipment but as you grow and you become more and more serious about youtube there are some pieces of equipment that are going to make the process much easier and much quicker while also making the quality better for you and your viewers as for background pick a place that works for you and your channel however just remember to try to keep the background as free from as many distractions as possible and as for lighting natural lighting is awesome don't underestimate. You should not feel the need to buy an expensive light just because. And also, another important thing, you should always be facing the light. Don't forget that. And yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you found it helpful and enjoyed my tips. And if you did, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more YouTube tips and more videos from me. And make sure to comment down below if there's something else you're wondering about or a topic you would like to make a video about or just anything you want to say in general. So yeah, thank you everyone for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!